Welcome to Part 2 of the MyPMS Front Desk Operations Series. Today we will manage bookings and the screens that make up an individual booking in your software. We will cover the Booking and Guest Details screen, Payments and Charges in the Folio, Booking Modification screen, Room Assignments, and Letters. To view the booking details of a guest booking, you must first locate the booking and then open it. There are several ways to locate an individual booking in the MyPMS software. Quick links, quick search, search bookings, and tape chart. Arrivals, in-house, and departures quick links are convenient ways to quickly access bookings you may need to work with today. The search box allows you to use an active search on room number, guest name, or credit card swipe for bookings that display in the arrivals, in-house, or departures lists. On the front desk screen, you can use the quick search fields to search by guest name, confirmation number, and or folio number, as well as arrival or departure dates. If you go to the Bookings tab, Search Bookings screen, you can search by guest first name or last name, a date range, status, room type, and much more. Go to the tape chart and find the date range of the booking. When you've located your booking, double click on the guest name to open it, or single click and a pop-up window will appear. Booking details. The tabs we will cover are the booking data tab, folio tab, edit tab, room assignments, and the letters tab. A booking contains all of the guest details, booking, and payment information. Each of the tabs in the booking pertain only to the guest record being viewed and are used to manage and change the guest booking, balance folios, print receipts, and to send correspondence letters. Bookings contain a header element that is present on all screens of the booking. In the top left is the confirmation number with guest name. The header contains two rows of data and provides an at-a-glance view of the critical information of the booking, regardless of the tab loaded. The first row includes number of guests, arrival departure dates, room type, room commit, and booking status. The second row contains financial information, which is broken down as follows. Projected income. The projected income of the booking total, room rent, plus taxes. Projected income and charges. This is the total of projected income plus any charges in the folio of the booking. Projected balance. This is the balance of the projected income plus charges minus any payments made in the folio. Folio balance. This is the current balance of the guest folio after any charges and or payments have been made. Deposits will show as a negative amount since room rent is not charged until the guest stays. The information shown in the guest information section is attached to the guest and will update all guest records when it is changed. Most of the fields are optional and can be filled out as completely as needed. If you want to update the guest information with a new guest name and create a new record, then enter the new information and click Reset Guest ID, then press Save. Most of the booking information fields are optional and can be filled out as completely as needed. Guest comments stay with the guest history and show up in all past, present, and future bookings. Booking comments are only saved and stored with that booking. 
three required fields are used for tracking guest booking behavior and payment methods. The Guarantee By is where you select a payment type or add a new credit card for the booking. The Manage Credit Cards link is an area you can add a new credit card and manage credit card information. If you are using My Card, you will also be able to manage and view credit card transactions for a guest. The room list will appear at the bottom of the booking screens. This list displays the booking dates, room type, room number, rate plan, and rate per night without taxes. Booking action buttons show the active buttons available based on the status of the booking. The Folio is a powerful and flexible tool for applying charges and payments to a guest bill. All charges and payments will appear in the guest's primary folio and stay attached to the guest booking. The functions available in the folio allow you to create additional folios, transfer items between folios, and email or print folios. To print or email a folio, go to the links located at the top right. The Add Charge function can be used to add extra charges, manual room rent, and discounts to the guest folio. The Add Payment function can be used for advanced deposits, make incremental payments, or to pay off the folio in full. Select the form of payment you wish to use. Enter or edit a description. Fill in the amount and click Apply Payment. The transaction will appear in the folio and be calculated in the booking header income and folio fields. Modify and delete icons can be used to either modify or delete the transaction posted in the folio. If multiple folios have been set up, you can transfer checked items to another folio within that booking or to another booking in the group. Use the Edit tab to modify the arrival and departure dates, room type, and rates of an individual booking. This includes confirmed, unconfirmed, and active bookings. The Edit tab displays the room type grid for the booking dates with the allocated room type highlighted in blue. To add days to the booking, click on the Additional Date or Dates, and blue will appear on the additional booking dates. To remove days from the booking, click on the blue box on the last date the guest wishes to stay. This will deselect the dates to the right, and it will no longer be blue. To change the date range of the booking completely, double click on the first blue box to deselect all the dates. Then use the header search to choose new dates and click refresh. Then click on the new dates of the booking in the correct room type, and the blue boxes will appear on the booking dates. Anytime you make changes to the room type information with date changes, the system will prompt you to get new rates. Be sure to click Save for the changes to take effect. Only the room type and rates are managed in the Edit tab. The Room Assignment is made in the Room Assignment tab. The Letters function gives you a way to print or email a predefined letter to a guest. Click on Letters tab, then select the letter from the drop-down list. The letters that are available are created in the setup area and can be customized to include merge fields that will automatically fill in booking, guest, and hotel information. Click the Send Email button to open up the dialog, or press the Generate Print Document button to print out the letter. Congratulations! 
You have just learned the basic front desk operations on booking details. For step-by-step -step instructions and examples, please refer to our online documentation. We hope you enjoy your use of the Booking Center MyPMS software.